The VolQuest Two Minute Drill is brought to you by Craven Wings. With Grant Ramey, Brent Hubs, VolQuest.com. It is the full court press as Tennessee wins 56 53 over Maryland. And Grant, what was uh, battle ball at times, but defense travels on the road. Tennessee finding a way to win. What, what do you make of Tennessee's win in this one? Uh, the emphasis is finding a way to win when it looked like it was unraveling. Uh, you had a 21-point lead late in the first half. You had a 16-point lead with a little over 11 minutes left in the game. Maryland goes on a 12-0 run. And suddenly you can't buy a bucket. Suddenly they're turning it over. They're fouling. It looks like they're unraveling. Maryland gets it within two a couple times, a few different possessions actually late in the game. Tennessee found a way, you know, shorthanded, no Jonas I do due to flu-like symptoms, no uh, Josiah Jordan-James because of the knee soreness that came, seems to be a game-by-game game thing, but they got some big buckets, they got some big rebounds, some big stops. Whatever you have to do to win that kind of game, they don't really care how you do it, just win the game, get it on your resume, and they did that. But what does it say about the, the kind of the leadership and the character of this team that they can find a way with different people? It was Meshack with a big three. It was – uh, Awanka giving them some quality minutes. Ziegler with big plays down the stretch. What, what does it say about kind of the growing chemistry and, the, and character of this team to be able, Grant, to pull one of these games out like this where it wasn't pretty? They had to do it. They've had to do it so much. I mean, it's like the story of the season for this team so far because they haven't had Josiah and Santiago on the floor together since Florida Gulf Coast, and that was November 16th. And here we are on December 11th. It's almost been a month since they've had their two best players available. Jonas Idu is playing really well for them as that rim protector at the back of the defense in terms of scoring and rebounding. Uh, and then he's out with flu-like symptoms. Um, Tobey Walk is an incredible story because he's a New York kid just like Zakai Ziegler is, and he comes in, plays the most minutes he's ever played this season, has seven points, I think, and eight or nine rebounds, something like that, all career highs. Zakai hitting the big shot. Like you talked about, Jemai Meshack, he's been a different player all season. And for him to hit that shot he did, that corner three, that was big at the time. So, yeah, it's just kind of the character, the identity of this team right now is to try to find a way to win kind of patchwork with whoever you have available. And right now they're making it work. Yeah, and, and there'll be a lot of things for Rick Barnes to, to certainly discuss with this team. I mean, they, they must have missed – I lost count at seven. It had to be double-digit layups. They shoot right at, I guess, 50% or maybe a little over uh, from the free throw line. So Tennessee – didn't help themselves with some easy stuff offensively. But again, it's their defense that's the, the calling card for this team right now. Uh, how, how much is there for this team to continue to learn from a, a game like this? Uh, a ton, because you're too good defensively. You saw it in the first half. You've seen it the last three weeks with this team, how good, how elite they can be defensively. You're too good to give up a 16-point lead, nearly give up a 16-point lead. Even though Maryland's, you know, no slouch, 13th ranked team in the country, they're off to a really good start. Uh, they've got some good wins. But, you know, a year ago, Tennessee was up here. They couldn't hit a bucket to save their lives across the river at Madison Square Garden in the Jimmy B Classic against Texas Tech. That game goes to overtime. Uh, they lose that game. So I think there is something to be said for it looks like you're unraveling. This is a Maryland home game, basically, because there was a lot more Maryland fans and Tennessee fans, as you would expect. Um, but Tennessee found a way, regardless of how it happened, what it looks like. If it was, you know, ugly or pretty, it doesn't matter. Tennessee found a way to win. Yep, and another quality win for Tennessee to put on the resume. This is a stretch of some games here. Tennessee's had some tune-ups. I have to think a little bit with, with the press, and I'll let you go with this because there's plenty of post-game coverage at VolQuest. I've got to think that Eastern Kentucky game the other night that they played where they had to deal with so much full-court press, Grant did not it, – it helped this team handle a very aggressive Maryland press. It wasn't a beauty thing. Tennessee didn't carve it up, but they handled it okay – thinks in part because of their previous scheduling, don't you think? Yeah, and you look at Eastern Kentucky, you look at McNeese, you look at Alcorn, you're wondering why are these games being scheduled, why they have these teams there. I mean, McNeese gave them a zone look that they hadn't really seen before or hadn't seen much of this season. And then Eastern Kentucky, like you mentioned, comes in with that pressuring trap all over the floor kind of defense that they played the other night. And then there, there it is for Maryland in the second half with that press. It was giving Tennessee some problems. That's how Maryland got back in the game uh, after they started finally making some shots. But – yeah, you play those kind of games. You try to face as many different looks as you can so you'll be prepared for these kind of games, and, and Tennessee stepped up. Well, it was not a thing of beauty, but it was a win, and that's all anybody's going to look at in March. Another win over a ranked opponent for Tennessee. Grant's got full coverage from Brooklyn, New York, as the Volunteers beat Maryland 56-53. That's going to do it for this edition of the Craven Wings Full Court Press. When you're Craven Wings, it's got to be Craven Wings. Online at CravenWings.com. 